Hello, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Thai Conversations with Ida Patronate. If you are new to this channel, Thai simply means technology, innovation, and entrepreneurship. And today we are going to be talking to a very beautiful and intelligent young lady who happens to be the co-founder of AI Scarecrow Technologies. AI Scarecrow Technologies provides eco-friendly solutions to bird and pest infestations in agricultural plantations. So this young lady's name is Mary Abwaji. And Mary, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much, Aida, for having me. Okay, so we're going to jump right into it. Um, what is AI Scarecrow Technologies and what do you do as a company? Okay, so first of all, I'd like to say thank you for the opportunity um, to have I Scarecrow here to talk about what we do. So with I Scarecrow, just like the name suggests, oh, Scarecrow. I Scarecrow, not AI. Well, people say AI, some say I. It's still the same though. So artificially okay. intelligent AI. So AI Scarecrow. Okay. All right. So what we do is we help farmers battle with their lifelong problem. That is most of these cereal farmers are faced with a daunting task of scaring bets off their field. Mm. And at iScareCrow, we develop technology to help them battle this, um, this problem. Yeah. Okay. So um, how many are you in the team and what inspired this innovation? So currently we are five co-founders and for the innovation, well, we are young and motivated and we wanted to do something to, um, you know, help our country. So okay. it took like a year, it took us like a year of market research. We told the whole of Ghana and we came up with this particular solution because of the problem, the pressing need. There is the need and there should be a solution. So that is what actually inspired us to come up with this, um, this solution. Okay, so what, what actually triggered this one-year market research? Because I know you joined the Cosmos Innovation Center. I want to know if that is what originated the whole idea and all of that, or you already have the idea and then you went into the KIC with this idea. Oh, we didn't have this idea. Um, it was through the Cosmos Innovation Program that we birthed the idea. So Cosmos helps um, young people to come up with solutions for problems in the country. So that is how come I met my team through the Cosmos program. And after the one year research, we came up with the solution to this particular problem. So it was through the Cosmos program, yeah. Okay, so um, tell us about your solution. Um, what you provide to farmers and how you help to you know, control pests and birds from these farms. All right, so um, we didn't start with what we have currently. Um, okay. We started from some, and originally we built a sound device, which is automatic. It plays random sounds at different intervals and different pitches that used to scare the birds. So from there, we developed our hawk height. So um, the hawk height is based on the principle of a height, a hawk height, yeah, a hawk height. So as kids in Ghana, we used to fly these kind of kites and mm -hmm. signs. So we designed these kind of hawk, um, these kind of kites to look like the hawk because one of the predators of the birds is the hawk. So okay. we mount it on very long pitch over on the farm and it creates the impression of a predator on the field. And then from there, we, you know, because of constant and um, we, we now build our drone here in Ghana, very unique drones that you wouldn't see on the market. And that is the current products that we are using to help the farmers. How much does your product cost? Okay, so the, the, we don't have a fixed price because we don't, we don't sell our device. Our device is rented out to the farmers. Most of these smallholder farmers will not have the, um, the well without you, you know, purchase our products outright. So we rent it out to them. But a lot of factors determine the price, with the hectares, the location, and some few, um, some few factors, yeah. 
Okay. So how has the experience at the Cosmos Innovation Center helped your entrepreneurial journey? Um, Cosmos has been um, a blessing. I would say thank you to my portfolio managers and then the directors who helped us. If not for Cosmos, I don't think Ice Echo would be here. Ice Echo. It was through the program that we formed the company. All right, well, anybody who doesn't know about Cosmos should just Google Cosmos Innovation Center and apply anytime they have a next program. It will, it will really benefit you to be on board on the program. Okay. So I know you've won several awards. Um, tell us about some of them and how the experience has been for you so far. Okay, so our work started with the Cosmos Innovation Centers program where we won an amount. And moving forward, so we had several um, companies showing interest in us. And one was the World Innovation Forums program, Ingenuity Cup, um, where we also, it was a global competition and we evolved as the winners. We went with other wow. countries. Yes. yes. And yeah, aside that, we also had some local awards, the OPEX Prize. Um, it was organized by the Dallas Swift with CSI in Ghana, where we also were part of the winners. And a couple, and a couple, and a couple. And they'll keep coming, and they'll keep coming, yes. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so what has been your most memorable uh, moments throughout this journey? as a co-founder of AI Echo Technologies? Well, I'll say my team, my team, my team has been helpful. It's really important who you do business with. And my team has been helpful. Um, I don't know how we all came together, we are five. It's, it's just been amazing. We've had tough times. I mean, there are times where you build a product and it just crashes. And then, you know, you've invested so much money into it. And, you know, but there's always somebody who would pick us up there's always motivation the team we know what we want we are all focused and none of these setbacks actually you know discourages us so the team matters that is one thing the team matters a lot the team matters yeah okay so actually i said what is the most memorable moment in the journey but then the helpful also like counts oh okay most memorable yeah um hmm. i don't know where to take it from <laughs> but i'll say okay there was let me i think most entrepreneurs always talk about the positive the you know they always share about their successes they never tell you about the the problems and the hard time so i'll share one hard time i think there was a time where we were testing our drones and we lost connection with the drone and the drone was just you know going and just going and going and going and we had to be running after the drone it was heartbreaking i mean seeing all that like the investment uh, it's it's memorable for me because we know what we had invested and seeing the drone just go and go and just crashing and destroying it was heartbreaking but yes we learned a lot from that experience and you know we fixed whatever that went wrong and all that yeah so to me that's like a memorable one i won't say the only the positive size but i'll say the negative one too <laughs> Okay, so what should we expect from AI what should we expect from AI Circle Technologies in the next couple of years? Um, so um, the vision of the company is to become the leading crop protection company in the whole of sub-Saharan African countries. So um, that is a vision. And we are working on this. We, we are focused. We are ensuring that we are hungry to help people. We want to help people eat rice. And almost everybody eats one cereal or the other. So we really want to help the farmers cut losses. We want to help them save time, valuable time that they spend on the field. So yeah, that is the future for us. We are not stopping till you know we get to that part. <laughs> okay. So so your final words, what are your final words to anybody watching you right now who sees you as a role model in tech or in agriculture? I'll say to the first thing that you're on the right path. Don't think um, you're on the wrong path. Agric is, you know, is the next biggest thing. So don't give up. Let's keep pushing. Um, stay, stay true to the cause, be focused. 
as I'm the women, I'm the only um, lady on the team of five, um, five that is four guys and my you know, it's not been so much like easy, but yes, at any point in time where we are faced with a challenge, we just pick up from there and, you know, we keep moving because we have the goal, you know, written and we see the goal, we see the vision and then we keep pushing. So that is what I'll tell anybody um, watching or listening to me now, just keep going. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. At least that's what I always tell myself. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Mary, for joining me today. It's been exciting talking to you and very inspiring what you're doing with your team. So to everyone watching today, this has been Thai Conversations with Aida Padikonate. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. See you.